Good morning. And welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, what Whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll take your calls in our second segment today. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Victoris Kulvinskas. One of the co-founders of the Hippocrates Health Institute, truly a legend in the world of raw foods, the world of health. He's a published author of 20 books or so, including Survival into the 20th, 21st Century, the New Health New Age Health Directory, Holistic Health Guide for the Love of a Sprout. He's an expert on enzymes and sprout chemistry. We're going to talk about enzymes. I've been really fascinated about using enzymes for nutrition, for health. I've actually known about it since pharmacy school, but over the last couple of years, it's become very evident that enzyme deficiency is a serious, serious problem, basically because of how we eat. You know, we talk about micronutrients on this program all the time, vitamins and minerals, which act as cofactors and coenzymes, but enzyme deficiency itself, not coenzyme deficiency, as significant as it is, but enzyme deficiency itself may be behind, or at least partially behind, what we call our epidemic health crisis here in the United States and around the world. We'll talk to Victoris Kalvinskis about raw foods and about enzyme therapy. We'll also talk a little bit about gluten. Victoris worked with Ann Wigmore, who is the raw, who is the uh, famous for, for popularizing sprouts as a healing food. And we'll talk to Victoris at the bottom of the hour and take your phone calls in our second segment, 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com. Ben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, right off the websites as well. Pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and order products directly from the phone team, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team at 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of my Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, head over to truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and the stress response, which, although the stress response and hyperpigmentation are protective and, and a good thing in the short term, in the long term, activation of the stress response in a chronic way is a a leading cause of health misery and a leading cause of skin issues. Hyperpigmentation, oiliness, inflammation, eczema, psoriasis, zits, these are all manifestations, at least partially, of a hyperactive stress response. That means if you are dealing with any skin issue, that means if you're dealing with any health issue. You have to learn how to calm down the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands in association with the thyroid, what I call the adrenal thyroid axis, the connection between the adrenals and the thyroids. This is the jumping off point to all chronic degenerative disease. 
adrenal issues and thyroid issues lead to everything else. That means if you're trying to take care of your autoimmune problem or if you're trying to take care of your heart problem or you're trying to take care of your inflammatory problem or your skin problem without addressing your adrenal glands and your thyroid, you're wasting your time. You're spending a lot of money for no good reason. That's because without addressing the adrenals and the thyroid or the adrenal thyroid complex, you cannot address degenerative disease, period. There's lots of ways to deal with adrenal stress. Relaxing is one of the best ways. By the way, menopause and hot flashes are a classic example of a hyped up adrenal system. And later on, perhaps tomorrow or the next day, actually, we're going to talk about how menopausal symptoms are related to adrenal issues and how if you're dealing with menopausal symptoms, if you're dealing with hot flashes and anxiety and, and sweats and insomnia and hypertension and uh, blood clotting, all of the issues that are associated with, with menopause, not only, not only are you dealing with adrenal issues, but even worse, because the adrenal glands are supposed to be making your youth and fertility and growth and repair hormones, if they're off making stress hormone, cortisol specifically, they're not going to be able to make all the good stuff. The adrenal glands are, where, are the glands that are supposed to pick up the slack when your ovarian hormones, for a menopausal woman, when your ovarian hormones start to die off, start to, when the ovaries stop producing the ovarian hormones. In other words, as we reach menopause, as a woman reaches menopause, the ovaries stop making estrogen, the ovaries stop making progesterone, the ovaries stop making testosterone. These are your youth and fertility and growth and repair hormones. And the adrenal glands are supposed to pick up the slack unless... Your body is being burdened by a lack of oxygen, by too much sugar, and by digestive issues, in which case the adrenal glands won't be making the good stuff, and they'll be making cortisol in order to help us deal with stress. We'll talk about how menopause and the stress response and the adrenal glands are all connected here probably tomorrow or the next day. Meantime, if you're dealing with a skin issue like hyperpigmentation, or really any issue, chronic degenerative disease or hypertension, you want to focus on the adrenal glands, first and foremost, practice your slow, deep breathing. From the journal uh, Menopause, so this is from uh, 2012, quote, regular daily practice of calm or paced breathing may ease hot flashes, according to a new study, according to a study published online in Menopause, the journal of the North American Menopause Society. Now, where have you heard that before, folks? I don't think one episode of The Bright Side has gone by without us talking about the importance of slow, deep breathing. Slow. Not a lot of breaths. I got a letter yesterday from a guy in Santa Cruz, perhaps he's listening, who says, well, Ben, I heard that you're not supposed to breathe a lot if you're... Uh, if you're interested in anti-aging, according, uh, according to Dr. Mercola, who this guy quoted. And yes, it's true. You don't want to breathe a lot. You want to breathe deeply. There's a difference between frequency of breath and depth of breath. It's not the frequency. You don't want to breathe a lot. That's true. You want to breathe deeply. It's about torque. It's like when you're riding your bicycle. You don't, want to, you don't want to be spinning your wheels really fast if you want to go up a hill. You want to be spinning your wheels very slowly with a lot of torque. It's the same idea with the breath. You don't want to be breathing fast. You want to be breathing slow and deep. And that's how you relax the body and you tell the body that all is well. In addition to deep breathing, which is probably the quickest way to calm down an adrenal stress response, ladies, if you're dealing with hot flashes or insomnia or menopausal symptoms, take note. But there's lots of other ways. Electrolyte drinks. This is where the Beyond Tangy Tangerine really shines. It's liquid electrolytes. This is why people get such quick results from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'm telling you guys, I'm not saying this because I want to sell you Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I'm telling you this as a healthcare professional whose personal, professional, and spiritual life is dedicated to helping you. You need to start the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, especially if you're on any kind, if you're dealing with any kind of chronic degenerative disease issue, adrenal issue, hot flash issue, or skin issue as well. These are, it's an electrolyte drink that features electrical nutrients, and when you put it in water, you activate that electrical energy. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. 
We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got Victoris Kalvinskis coming up at the bottom of the hour, the co-founder of the Hippocrates Health Institute, nutritionist, extraordinaire, and enzyme expert. He's written multiple books, including Don't Die with Enzymes, For the Love of a Sprout, Love Your Body, Live Food Recipes, worked with Dick Gregory. Uh, he was a Dick Gregory's personal health consultant. Dick Gregory was a comedian who was on the forefront of vegetarianism and fasting and the importance of using nutrition for good health. We'll talk to Victoria about enzymes, specifically at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please head over to, true, uh, to uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or also criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and also get your products at the wholesale price. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com. And also, if you're in the Denver area, I'm going to be doing a talk for... Uh, Leslie Farrar at the Highlands Ranch Library this Friday, Highlands Ranch Library, 9292 Ridgeline Boulevard in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. If you want to Google it, or if you want to map quest it, it's 80129 is the zip code. Please RSVP to benfuchs.everbright.com, benfuchs.everbright.com to make sure you have a seat, or you can call Leslie at 720-235-9223, 720-235-9223. That's at 1 p.m. this Friday at the Highlands Ranch Library. Friday would be, what, the 16th, 17th, Friday the 18th at the Highlands Ranch Library in Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Hope to see you there. Okay, we'll continue talking about adrenal health and hyperpigmentation, get you some strategies for dealing with the adrenal glands in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and deep breathing techniques. There's, there's quite a few nutritional strategies that you can use for adrenal health. We'll get to those tomorrow as we continue talking skin health, skin care, and adrenal stress on the bright side. Time to hit our phones, 844-236-6010. Chloe in Texas, welcome to the bright side. What's going on? Hello, Ben. Hello, please, what's up? Um, can you please talk about heart attacks in women? I'm sorry, say that one more time about heart attacks, did you say? In women. Ah, heart attacks in women. Well, they're the same as heart attacks in men. Women and men There's have no the same. No, <laughs> no different. different. No different, no different. Women do have more of the uh, inflammatory hormone estrogen, and if estrogen is not processed correctly, this is really important. We hear a lot about estrogen and estrogen toxicity, but it's not so much that estrogen is a problem as much as the breakdown products of estrogen. If estrogen is not processed correctly, it can become very problematic. Estrogen is mega potent, way more potent than other steroid hormones. It's active in tiny, tiny, tiny amounts. It has to be eliminated from the body through bile and through the digestive system and via the activity of probiotics. If there's anything wrong with the bile system, and that means your gallbladder has been removed or you have liver health issues or perhaps issues with your intestine, if you have any problems with what's called dysbiosis, messed up gut bacteria, if you have any digestive problems at all, the chances of building up toxic estrogen forms becomes, becomes more and more likely, and this is where heart disease this is one of the reasons why women have issues with heart disease. Now, insulin is involved, and insulin is a problem for men and for women. Sugar is involved. Sugar is a problem for males and for females as well. So between estrogen and sugar and insulin and toxicity in the blood through the digestive system, these are the causes of heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in this country and around the world. So for women and for men, how you protect yourself from heart disease means, number one, controlling your intake of sugar. I know I beat up on sugar and nutritionists beat up on sugar daily, but you can't get away from it. Sucrose and glucose and fructose in excess amounts and when not cleared or processed correctly is a major cause of bodily distress, including heart disease. So the number one strategy for dealing with heart disease is not a drug. It's not your cardiologist. It's not a doctor. It's not the medical model. And the medical model should be ashamed of itself for having the nerve to treat a toxic heart with toxic drugs or for treating a toxic heart with toxic, deadly medical procedures, with invasive surgeries. 
the first thing to do to prevent heart disease or to protect yourself from heart disease or to reverse heart disease is to control your intake of fast-burning sugars, and that includes fruit juice and soda pop and desserts and breads and pastas and anything that breaks down into sugar, and then simultaneously use nutrients that support sugar processing, the B vitamins, magnesium, taurine, the amino acid taurine, and the amino, amino acid arginine, chromium, and vanadium, which you'll find in the sweeties, selenium, and sulfur, and alpha lipoic acid. These are all wonderful nutritional strategies for supporting sugar. If you want to do it easily, get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack, throw in the ultimate selenium and the sweeties. Not only will you be protecting your, uh, taking care of sugar, but you'll be protecting your heart as well. Staying away from processed food is also important in supporting digestive health, getting on the probio any good probiotic supplement, and eating fermented foods. You know I love the Biolumin Nightly Essence. It's got natokinase in there. We're going to be talking about enzymes here in the next segment. Enzymes can play a major role in keeping the circulatory system flowing and keeping the blood in the circulatory system circulating and preventing blood clots. And oh, by the way, the wrong kind of estrogen poorly processed estrogen is associated with blood clots and please do not marginalize the importance of deep breathing and relaxing the body when it comes to protecting the heart we all want the fancy schmancy sexy supplements and formulas and strategies but something as simple as sitting on the couch and oxygenating your blood and blowing off carbon dioxide is way more important and way less toxic than any friggin medical model strategy you could get tell that to your cardiologist as far as heart disease in women go, then you want to focus on estrogen. Anytime you have an estrogen problem, use digestive health strategies, all the ones we talk about, as well as fat metabolism strategies, helping the body process fats, and that means your ultimate enzymes, extra bile salts, perhaps lecithin granules. Lecithin is spelled L-E-C. I-T-H-I-N. You can get granules at the health food store. Make sure you're using GMO-free lecithin granules. And then you might want to throw in some apple cider vinegar as well. Apple cider vinegar after all your meals. I read a really cool article on apple cider vinegar, which I'll tell you about tomorrow, for burns. Topical for burns, apple cider vinegar. All right. Hope that helps, Chloe. Thanks for your call. Let's see if we can squeeze one more in. David, what's going on, my man? Got about a minute and a half. David? David, David, going once. Do I have David? No, David. All right. I'm not sure what happened to David. Well, yeah, uh, let's go to uh, Carl, the Truth Raider. Sorry, David. I don't know where you went there. Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up? Got about a minute, bro. Good morning, pharmacist Ben. Good morning. What's cooking? Urinary tract infections. Yes. Think bacteria and bacteria, E. coli specifically. A couple of things for the immediate pain, and it's miserable. Use uh, Lugol solution if you can find it. Somebody told me they had a hard time finding Lugol solution. If you can't find Lugol solution, you might have to have a pharmacist compound it for you if they know how to compound it still. A lot of pharmacists have gone out of the compounding business, but uh, have a pharmacist compound Lugol solution. Put a few drops in water. You can also use something called Manos, M-A-N-N-O-S-E. That helps some folks, but mostly you want to focus on, believe it or not, digestive health. E. coli is a digestive bacteria. When, uh, when, bacteria, when bacteria in the gut get thrown off, E. coli can proliferate, and that can be a cause of UTI. See if you can link it to digestive health issues. Drinking more water can On the bright side, thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can search via the search engine for particular topics or particular programs. If you missed, missed something or if you want to refer a client or a patient or friend or loved one to um, one of our subjects or topics, Ben Fuchs Archives. Dot com Also, brightsideben.com has search engines associated with them. If you want to purchase products, you can do it right off the websites as well. Also, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of my Truth Treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And now, if you want to purchase our enzymes or the Bergamax product, you can go to brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. I've been fascinated with enzymes now, really, ever since pharmacy school. I was fascinated with enzymes, but more and more, it's becoming clear that enzyme deficiency is just as significant a problem as micronutrient deficiency, maybe even more significant. 
of a healthcare issue than uh, micronutrient deficiency, and that's why I'm so proud and honored, and, and I feel very fortunate to have our next guest on, Victoris Kolvinskis, who is an expert, maybe the expert, on enzyme nutrition. He's a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2000 Raw Food Culinary Showcase in Jamaica. He's been studying enzymes for decades and decades, and he's a founder, co-founder of the Hippocrates Health Institute, lecturer, chef, author of numerous books, Don't Die Without Enzymes, For the Love of a Sprout, Love Your Body, The New Age Health Directory, Holistic Health Guide. It's my pleasure and honor to bring Victoris Kolvinskis on to the bright side. Hey, Victoris, what's up, my man? Enzymatically enjoying life. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. So what's the deal with enzymes? First of all, tell me a little bit about Hippocrates Health Institute, and then I want to get into some enzymes. What, what, what is the mission? What is the purpose? What is the Hippocrates Health Institute all about? Our, our function is to educate and create an environment where people will learn the tools and make a transition into wellness. Wellness is the key driving force and basically coming back into what nature offers, namely nature offers everything without a stove, without, uh, with minimal uh, basically uh, involvement. It's all emphasis on raw, alkaline, uh, green foods and uh, sprouts, the kind of foods that make a difference in one's life and has a long tradition. Okay, now raw, you talk about raw a lot, and I'm right there with you about when it comes to eating raw and the problems associated with cooking. Largely, it's because of enzymes, correct? Or enzyme, the, the lack of enzymes in cooked foods. Well, actually, it's not only, uh, well, that's the flagship nutrient, is the enzymes in the in the food itself, it's the one that is uh, most uh, sensitive to uh, temperature variations. Once you get past 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the enzymes are denatured and they will not function. They only will function as a contributing protein to your meal plan. But all nutrients are affected and the decline of nutrients is quite rapid. Not only rapid from the fact that a lot of the food is sitting on the shelves, even though it might be organic for three weeks in a bag, the it's chemical free it's still uh, nutrient wise it has declined greatly and also the bioavailability so the closer you are to the source of your farm and eating fresh from the farm the better off you are that's why sprouting and indoor gardening is such a fantastic venture that i pioneered uh, over 50 years ago what do you think the distinction, tell us, talk a little bit about the distinction between enzymes and micronutrients, and then tell us what you think the relationship between enzyme deficiency and chronic degenerative disease is. First of all, the distinction between enzymes and what we call micronutrients. Talk a little bit about that. Well, enzymes are, are the only nutrients within your body that actually does any kind of work. That means it either, uh, either breaks it down or reassembles. And basically, in the digestive process, it's a breakdown. Uh, similarly, within the immune functions, it's a breakdown of uh, invading either organisms or invading particles and trying to get rid of it. That's your police force getting it out of your system. And metabolism re is reassembling and making operational all your body functions. So enzymes are operating on that level, whereas all the micronutrients, primarily they're a support team mm. uh, that uh, both are utilized by enzymes in order to maximize their functioning and uh, to be very specifically targeted, and also they participate in all the body uh, from hormone production uh, to protein production uh, to all metabolic overall activity, but enzymes are the ones that are heat sensitive, they, their deficiency is, uh, uh, as, as an example, why body increases in temperature, why do you have a fever? And it's the fact that you're deficient in enzymes. For every degree rise in temperature, uh, the enzyme activity increase, increases 35%. So body is not having enough enzymes, so the way the body compensates for it is by increasing the temperature, and mm. it doubles within a matter of three degrees that uh, enzyme activity within your body, which is involved in immune function and also healing the organism. Whereas vitamins uh, and minerals, they're all extremely important. Nothing can be underrated. Everything is important, but uh, enzyme 
oftentimes I feel are the ones that are creating the miracles in the healing art. So, in other words, enzymes are the Brad Pitt or the Meryl Streep, the leading actor or the star of the show, and then the vitamins and the minerals are the supporting supporting cast. Absolutely. Okay, and they're all important, and obviously. Uh, you know, no single actor is a uh, key to a production of a, a theater. Similarly, no single nutrient is uh, basically in isolation <laughs> could create the could create the production. Now, so a couple of things that you said are interesting. First of all, you can keep the body cool or the, the body can cool itself down more efficiently, which, of course, is related to longevity and health. A cooler body lives longer if there's enough enzymes present. Is that correct? Absolutely. As an example, I had a medical doctor and his wife uh, came over for our retreat center, and uh, they came. Uh, the wife was quite sick, and she had a fever about 104 and was throwing up. And uh, I had her get on uh, very strong enzymes, and within a period, uh, every two hours taking it, and within a period of about four hours, she was out of the flu, all the flu symptoms. Not four hours. Within a matter of 12 hours, she was out of the flu symptoms, and she was able to participate in yoga and uh, other activities. So uh, the doctor was blown away. So was I, uh, you know, just to see such a dramatic impact, so, in bringing the temperature back. So when you take in enzymes, your body's need for temperature decreases, and eventually, mm -hmm. uh, basically, the temperature is normalized when the enzyme level of activity to keep your toxemia moving out of your system is uh, addressed, whether it's killing off viral invasion or my pathogenic microbe. Flu vaccine, so better than the flu vaccine. Make it sure something as benign as a flu or cold can be, you can benefit or prevent by using enzyme supplements. Is that correct? That, that would be uh, the, the best way. Uh, one of the, uh, like I said, one of the reasons uh, that you do get uh, conditions of uh, what, what they call uh, uh, increase in white blood cells, and there's a phenomenon associated with cooked meals. It's called post meal leukocytosis. Immediately mm. after the meal, uh, Your immune during system. the meal itself, the white blood cell count goes up by two, three, up to 700 percent. And the hold that thought. Hold that thought. Victorious, hold that thought. I, we got to take a break. That's very important. I want to get to that when we come back. Full On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Victoris Kolvinskis about enzyme and enzyme therapy. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing any of uh, our longevity or uh, enzyme products, you can head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. Brightsidehealthproducts.com. Got a whole line of very high-end enzyme products, including enzyme products that help you digest gluten, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. So, Victoris, you were talking about postprandial or post-meal, if you will, post-eating. Post-meal leukocytosis. Leukocytosis. And basically, the white blood cell increase, they act like little golf carts going up through the metabolic pool and harvesting enzymes, bringing it to support digestion, because without uh, adequate enzyme levels, uh, digestion would falter. And basically, if you keep on eating meals without enzymes, uh, what happens, your enzyme levels keep diminishing. And uh, it should be high levels of enzymes because we were, by nature, intended to eat all raw foods, mm. but nobody really is doing it. So the way to, over to compensate for this phenomenon is to eat uh, with your meals enzyme capsules uh, like the ones uh, you're referring to on Brightside Health products. Now, there's an interesting relationship between gluten and enzymes, and you can actually use enzymes, or at least specific enzymes, to help process gluten, correct? Absolutely, and uh, most people don't have, uh, well, a major portion of the population doesn't have gluten intolerance at earlier years of their life because they have adequate levels of uh, enzymes. And what happens with aging, by the time you hit uh, 30, you have at least 15% uh, less enzymes total in your body than when you were 20. And by the time you hit 60, you have about 70% reduction on your enzyme levels. And these are the workforce that dealing with all the foods that you're eating. There's a there's an exceptional book, uh, magazine that comes out monthly, and it's been going on for about four decades at least. It's called it's called uh, Natural Toxins in Food, and basically all foods 
contain something or other, and but often quite a bit, that are non-desirable in the body. The only way your body can handle all this food is having strong enzyme reserves. They can either convert it to something usable, like gluten converted into peptides, polypeptides, and amino acids, which are what your body actually can utilize. So as long as you have high amount of enzymes, you're not basically having any difficulties with consuming all these white foods. But then you start moving into deficiencies and allergies and basically addressing the research is so extensive. You can address most allergies just singularly by beefing up your enzyme levels, which empowers mm. immune functions, cleaning up the bloodstream of circulatory waste, as well as also creating minimal waste by supporting the digestion through the usage of enzymes. So, and our glute, the one astroglutin is the most potent product on the market in terms of uh, addressing specifically uh, gluten intolerance. Uh, people who are marginal just by using the other product, which is taken with the, this one, astroglutin, would be taken between meals in order to have maximum uh, uh, absorption uh, in, within the system and cleaning up the, the overall blood. But with your meals, you should be taking Astra Extra, which is a digestive uh, enzyme that supports breaking down uh, the products, including uh, gluten. Uh, but if you have a severe gluten uh, basically intolerance, then you're going to need two or three of the Astra Extra and possibly also the Extra Gluten. Uh, safe thing to do is always include Astra Gluten and Astra Extra with your meal plan. Uh, uh Okay, you cut down just a little bit there, uh, Victoria. So let me just uh, okay. say that again, just to make sure I understood that. Astra Gluten, Astra Extra, these are both available at brightsidehealthproducts.com. They're important for helping you process gluten after meals. Both of these, you're saying, and people who have gluten intolerances or food allergies can maybe mitigate or eliminate their, their intolerances and their allergies just by using these enzyme supplements? Exactly. Uh, they, there's a saying that uh, among beauticians, among other people, it says, whatever you don't digest, you wear on your skin, and primarily the, uh, face and skin. And what happens is uh, if you uh, are not using enzymes in your meal plan, you're going to start having rapidly aging skin. With enzymes, your skin not only slows down but starts reversing. You start developing an ageless skin. Just from enzyme supplementation, you're saying? Yes, sir. Wow, well, that's pretty hydration and improving other lifestyle habits. But the key thing that uh, creates this uh, uh, waste and toxemia that uh, is circulating in your blood and needing to use your skin as a backup organ of elimination. You know, you have the you have primarily urination, defecation, and uh, and breath as three major organs of elimination. But uh, skin is a backup. Wow. Now, this is, this is truly amazing. Are you saying that if somebody has gluten intolerance, just for an example, and they use, say, the astroglutin digestive enzymes with a gluten-containing meal, will they, get, will they get relief from a gluten intolerance symptom immediately? Uh, absolutely. This can, they're uh, they're going to start uh, improve. Uh, the symptoms are going to basically disappear. And I've had situation myself uh, many years ago uh, with uh, gluten intolerance, and uh, it's something that is among other things. It's, it's reversible uh, with a uh, uh, long-term use search of uh, astro gluten uh, within a matter of. Uh, months or a year, depending on how severe with the individual, you'll find that uh, just by, you'll be able to get along just by taking Astra Extra and without the needing of the extra support of the Astra Gluten. How about enzymes for circulatory issues, blood clots, heart disease, that kind of thing? Well, uh, there's uh, excellent, uh, first of all, uh, one should tr minimize the waste products that are going to be appearing in the bloodstream, so have good digestion. So you would take Astra Extra with your meals. Then to clean out the bloodstreams, there's something called Astra Ease, uh, which is uh, systemic enzymes that very high in proteolytic enzymes, and it's taken between meals so as to get into your circulation immediately and acts like a broom, so, uh, basically a uh, pulling out the both circulatory uh, protein and converting it into N amino acids, and as well as also cleaning up the cardiovascular system. Dr. Max Wolf, uh, a famous uh, 
a pioneer in the field of enzymatic therapies from Fordham University. Uh, he said 95% of the uh, circulatory diseases can be treated successfully with no other intervention other than enzymes. So, you know, enzymes is really the answer to pretty much uh, everything dealing with cardiovascular health. So how, if somebody wanted to participate in an enzyme supplement program, say, say Astra Extra, Astra Extra, Astra Gluten, or Astra Ease, what are we talking about here? Three capsules after meals, five capsules after meals, 10 capsules a day? No, give, give us a little program. So potent. They're, more, they're the most potent products on the marketplace. All you need is one as a rule. I, I haven't found, I found not very, very rare cases where more than one uh, would be uh, required. At Victorious, we have a really, really bad connection, and I, I can't even okay. understand. What you, um, I'm so, I'm uh, sorry. I'm I, move I can't to really. A different location. I'll well, we only have about a minute. We help? only have. We're we're winding down, Victorious. We'll have to have you back on, buddy. And I apologize for that for our listeners. I don't know. We just had a bad connection there, Victorious. I'm going to give you a call here later today, or maybe tomorrow. So we'll have a, a conversation. Thank you for coming on. Okay, really appreciate good. it. Buddy. Thanks a lot for having me. I appreciate it. I wish we could have talked to him longer, but that's, that we just had a terrible connection. That was Victoria Skolvinskis, holistic health practitioner, nutritionist, and raw food expert, as well as a co-founder of the Hippocrates Health Institute. We're talking enzyme health. If you're interested in purchasing any of the, any of the enzymes we talked about today, Astra Gluten, if you have gluten intolerance, Astra Ease, if you're dealing with arthritis or a circulatory problem, or the Astra Extra product. You can find them all at brightsidehealthproducts.com. I'm telling you folks, enzyme deficiency is a significant problem. It's a big problem, a huge problem, and it's a very underappreciated problem, mostly from the way we eat and mostly from the way we process and cook our foods. And that's why supplementation with enzymes can be so helpful. You know, we've talked about the longevity ultimate enzymes for a long time on this program, but if you're interested in super duper premium enzymes, you can find those at brightsidehealthproducts.com, brightsidehealthproducts.com. In addition to our Bergamax product. And of course, if you want to purchase any of our skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. All right. So tomorrow we'll continue talking adrenal health. We'll talk about cortisol and we'll talk about cortisol as it has to do with elderly folks or older folks, not just elderly folks, but older folks. As we get older, the signs of adrenal stress build up, the signs of cortisol build up. And this is one of the reasons why older folks have insomnia. That's why older folks sometimes only sleep for one or two hours or three or four hours a day and they get up in the middle of the night. If that's you, even if you're not elderly or older, you can thank your cortisol and stabilizing your adrenal glands, working on adrenal health can be a great way to help you fall asleep. We'll talk about strategies for adrenal health and for helping protect against excess cortisol tomorrow on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my websites, brightsideben.com criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com if you're interested in the longevity products. You can check out truthtreatments.com if you're interested in any of my truth treatment products. And if you'd like to purchase Astra Gluten for gluten intolerance or any of the powerful enzyme products, Astra Enzyme products, head over to brightsidehealthproducts.com. Thanks for listening and have an awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later.